Hello, this is Ferris Khan. Thank you for tuning in to my Bronco channel. Today, I have a very important topic, and that topic is color. And very specifically, I want to compare the 2021 antimatter blue color to the 2022 eruption green color. Uh, first of all, I am wearing a Bronco shirt that I got at an event. You could see that it probably looks a little bit black. It's actually very dark blue. Uh, I'm going to show you that dark blue in a minute, but let's let's take a look at the green first. Let's let's try to be fair to the green. Um, this is black. Uh, I, I really like the black color, but then you go into the eruption green. Let's let's go ahead and do that for uh, 2022. Um, I'm trying to be fair here. Uh, green is a color. It's a it's a good retro color. Uh, a lot of people like it. Uh, let's kind of take a look at it from different angles. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Definitely nice. Um, of course, this is a CGI rendering. I'm going I'm to show you uh, the green color in person. I did get a couple of shots in person, so I'll, I'll show you that uh, as well. Uh, let's, let's take the doors off and, and do the same thing here so you can kind of see. Or let's take the roof off too, right? So um, this is the eruption green color, all right, on a Bronco. All right, not bad. I mean, I, I, I can't argue that that, that uh, doesn't look, I mean, it does look really nice to me and it, it looks right for a Bronco. All right, now I'm gonna go into 2021 here so I can show you my Bronco, hopefully this will work. And uh, my Bronco, yep. So you, if you just switch the 2022 to a 2021 when you're in build and price, you can get uh, get to this page still. Um, and uh, there's the black that I like, but let's go to what is known as antimatter blue. This is the vehicle that I have. We can take a look at it from different angles. Again, this is a CGI render. I'll, sh I'll show you some real life pictures in a second here. Um, let's take the doors and the roof off and you can kind of look at this here. It looks like it's kind of in bright sunlight. Um, it actually looks darker than this in, 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 cl in cloudy kind of, uh, um, light. So, uh, just sort of keep that in mind. Uh, also this color has been discontinued for 2022 on a Bronco. It's available for other vehicles that Ford has but, but uh, not on the Bronco. All right, so now let's kind of talk about some comparisons here. Uh, I'm just gonna go into kind of a PowerPoint mode. And uh, this is in real life. Uh, this is with larger tires with the Sasquatch package. So you may prefer the larger tires. So maybe, maybe that has some influence on it. Um, uh, looks, looks good out in the quote unquote wild. This is a, a event at the Woodward Dream Cruise from earlier today where they had, or earlier this year where they had this. Um, I will say here, here's kind of another picture that I have. It's, it's very retro. It also, it, not only Broncos, but it kind of reminds me of old Mustangs uh, and old vehicles in the sixties and the seventies. Um, it does look right for the Bronco. It is rare for a vehicle today. There, there aren't that many vehicles that you're going to find in that color. Uh, maybe a positive and a negative. Maybe you know, in terms of popularity, uh, you know, it, it's a acquired taste for some. But, but I think it'll work. I, I don't think you you can go wrong by uh, getting this color. Um, I do have some some issues with this. Sorry. So first of all, have you ever seen a green eruption? I, I, it doesn't make sense to me, you know, volcanoes erupt, you know, maybe lava, red eruption, orange. Okay, I, I can understand that, but I've never seen a green eruption. So if anybody knows what that is, uh, let me know. So just the name eruption green, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, the other thing is it, it doesn't, it's not quite as dark as the uh, antimatter blue. So you don't have that like, black blue black effect here it's it's clearly green you know i i, I it, people aren't going to think uh that it's black at least in uh, when i've seen it in real life you, you don't have that you know like very dark black but wait it's green you know uh, you don't have that effect um and then uh it is it is the spartans color uh I, I, i'm trying to be unbiased but 
but uh, that that is negative. So, so I've got to point that out. All right. So now let's let's look at kind of my vehicle. So this is this is my vehicle, and you can notice I'm, I'm at the very popular Zingerman's Bakehouse, which is not the Zingerman's Deli. This is Zingerman's Bakehouse, which is um, uh, south of 94. This is a place where you can get a sandwich for six dollars or seven dollars, somewhere in there. Uh, but anyway, uh, still very popular place, and. Um, the blue is such a good color that they allowed me to park uh, diagonally right right in front of the bakehouse there. So uh, I just want to point that out. Uh, also, check out that block M. It, it really kind of works with this vehicle. One thing about uh, stickers on Broncos, uh, or I'm sorry, magnets on Broncos, it won't work on the door. You've got to put it in the rear uh, wheel well area or rear um, quarter panel uh, area. So uh, just sort of keep that in mind as you're kind of tailgating uh, with your favorite team. Buy the right size magnet, uh, probably not the largest size. You can't just stick it right on your door. That's, that's not going to work. All right, so here's what I think. I mean, I think it definitely has a retro feel, which, which is the same as, as uh, the Eruption Green. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it can sometimes look black, sometimes look blue. Uh, I'm still waiting to show this to my two nephews and niece, and um, my goal is to kind of go there in a cloudy day, you know, to take take the vehicle to their house on a cloudy day, show it to them as uh, black, make sure they kind of remember this car is black, get them in the vehicle, uh, flip some of the switches, and then try to see if um, I can get... Uh, them to think that I've actually changed the color to blue. Uh, hopefully the clouds disappear, uh, the sun comes out and it's bright blue, bright, you know, dark blue, antimatter blue. They hop out of the car after I flip the switch and um, they think it's an amazing magic trick from their uncle. So that, that's my goal. We'll see, we'll see how that works. Uh, the name itself, is awesome. Antimatter blue. I mean, you can't, it, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. It, it, it works with, let's say both the star Wars universe and the, um, Marvel universe. Um, you know, maybe the back to the future universe. It, it just works with everything. Uh, the star Trek universe, um, uh, the Ted Lasso universe, it, it just works with all of them. So, um, the Michigan logo from this angle also works perfectly. You, you can see that there. And, um, you know, there, there is a negative, you, you can see a little bit of dirt uh, here. Uh, it is hard to clean, but my counterpoint that, to that is that, do you really want to clean your Bronco? I mean, when you go through dirt, you want people to know you've gone through the dirt. I mean, I, I had, before this vehicle, I had a Mustang and I always tried to keep it clean when I could. Um, but that's a, that's a different vehicle. On a Bronco, you, you, want, you want that dirt to be a badge of honor. And uh, making that dirt pop uh, using antimatter blue makes a lot of sense to me. So with that, I also kind of want to talk about one other color, and that is cyber orange. And um, uh, so this is a color that's available on 2022, was not available in 2021 in the base model. It does cost an extra $600. Um, you know, we can go through the, the different views, but, but maybe the best is to just kind of look here. It is a very unique color that pops. Uh, it is, it's a rare color to, to get a, um, an orange-ish, yellowish kind of color on a vehicle uh, like this. Um, and I, I also want to say it's an awesome complementary color to dark blue, as in maize and blue. It, it, this cyber orange is actually pretty close to maize. You stick a block M sticker on it, it's going to look perfect. Um, so if you missed out on antimatter blue, maybe you, you have some worries about getting the, the eruption green because you're a Michigan fan. Maybe cyber orange is for you because, because it is a little bit more yellowish than orange. It's kind of in, instead of the blue black, it's kind of a yellow orange. Um, now a negative is it does look like a school bus. Uh, so, so here's a picture from Bronco 6G where it's sort of uh, side by side with a school bus. Uh, the color looks like a school bus color, but I actually don't know if that's a negative. Is that really a, a negative for you? Um, 
uh, I think it's kind of good that you can kind of see the vehicle. Uh, maybe you're thinking, oh, is that a school bus? Is that a short bus? Is that, what is that? Oh, wait, it's, it's a uh, Bronco. Um, you know, maybe that's a good thing. So, um, so, so here's the bottom line. Uh, antimatter blue would be my first choice. Cyber orange, second choice. Uh, and then the third choice is eruption green. Um, my score prediction for today is um, 32 to 11, Michigan. Go blue, go antimatter blue. <laughs>